hi and welcome to this channel in today's video we will talk about how to use graphical user interface or dialog boxes to gather input and output results in a java program so actually the java programming language library provides a predefined class that allows us to use graphical user interface in order to input values and output results in our program that predefined class is called j option pane so the class j option pane is part of the javax that swing package and uh, this j option pane uh, is also made up of two predefined methods the show input dialog method and the show message dialog method and uh, as i have mentioned at, uh, at the beginning in order to use these methods we have to make sure that we have imported the right package which is the javax that swing and that package must contain the right uh, class so the show input dialog method is used when we want to allow the user to input a string value from the keyboard through a dialog box meanwhile the method show message dialog is used to output or display a result in a dialog box or a graphical user interface in this video we will have a look at how to use the show input dialog method so i will delete this one and here you have the syntax of the show input dialog method let me write how are you here Now let me explain the various elements in this statement. The first element I'm going to explain is this str here. As you can notice, str in this statement is a string variable because the show input dialog method returns a string and uh, that string is going to be stored in str here so that's why i have declared this string variable str that also means that all the values inputted through this method uh, through the show input dialog method are considered to be strings even if you write a number through the show input dialog method that number is going to be taken as a string so that's why we always need to declare string variables that will hold you know the inputted values and how are you here in between the brackets is a string as well that it will appear in the dialog box and uh, most of the times programmers use this string inside the brackets here to inform the user about what to type in the text field i will show you about that in a couple of seconds so now if i run this small program a dialog box is going to pop up on the screen and as you can see the string how are you is showing on the dialog box here and it is giving the user an idea of what to type in the text field here so how are you i'm supposed to type in a response like i am fine like this and then if i click on ok the dialog box disappears and as i said the value entered is returned as a string and it is assigned to the variable str so now to prove that the value has been assigned i will add another line of code here i'll say system that out the print line str so this line of code is actually going to allow me to output the value stored in str it's going to output it in the console here so now if i run this program again the dialog box is going to appear i'll write my reply i am fine and then if i click ok i'm supposed to get i am fine showing in my console as you can see it's showing in my console because we have the system that out that print line tr here and it proves that the method has taken my inputted value and has stored it in str and then that's why we can see it in the console here 
So guys, that's how you can input data in your program using dialog box or graphical user interface. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the show message dialog method. That means I will show you how to output or display results uh, using a dialog box or a graphical user interface. So thanks for viewing and I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next video.